Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video it's going to be another very very quick one in which we're going to be just going over how to change a Blueprint's parent class. So there might be many reasons for why you want to do this, for example you might have an actor you want to change to a pawn or an actor to a character or a pawn to a character, really any way you want to do this I'm going to very quickly show you how. So as you'll see here I've got an AI Blueprint and if I open this up you'll notice in the top right its parent class is pawn. Now I might have made this as a pawn, I might have made this as an actor, it doesn't matter but what I want to change it to is I want it to be a character because I want this to also have the character movement and all the other stuff like that and I also want to be able to use a launch character so if I go in the event graph and right click I can search for launch character and you'll notice I don't have it as this isn't a character. There are obviously ways around this but this way I'm going to show you it's a lot easier. So I have this pawn here, I'm going to go to file, free parent blueprint and search the blueprint I want to reparent it to. For example, again, I want this to be a character and I'm going to search for it there. And that is it, very simply done. You'll notice the top right parent class is now character instead of pawn and we have all of the relevant components we normally have in a character. So all I'm going to do is just swap these over. So my skeleton mesh here, I'm just going to put in the mesh here. So this mesh with the character blueprint is now going to just be my Manny. And then at the animation, I'll also switch over to be the correct one as well, so the correct animation blueprint like so, and then I'll just delete my skeletal mesh there, obviously making sure to change over any references I may have to it like so. And now that is it. I don't need to change anything else because I've not really got any code in here, but we now have this blueprint as a character instead of a pawn, so if I go to the event graph I can now use the launch character node perfectly like so. And again, there's many different reasons why you'd want to do this. Obviously, if you're on this video, you probably have your own reasons to do it, so I don't need to go over it too much, but this is the very quick and simple way to do it. So it means you don't have to create a new one here, so I wouldn't have to then create a character, copy all the code over and everything like that. Everything in here would stay the exact same, so all the code I'd have would still remain here and working perfectly. So thanks so much for watching this video. Again, it's a nice and quick one, and I hope it helps you. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.